Yeah. yeah, he says he's an honest man who works hard for his kids. Now he is a victim of the city's gun violence, but he credits that medical device for saving his life. And I honestly think my aunt Heller saved my life. Quinzel Kane usually takes a nap every day while riding the 56 bus to his early sanitation job near Torsdale and Cotman Avenues. But he says for some reason he was awake around 2.45 this morning, and he's glad he was. I was leaning my head against the, you know, the glass of the door, uh, of the bus, and you heard gunshots. Kane felt a sharp pain, and then seconds later looked down and realized he had been shot in the arm. Oh, everything happened so fast, you know and blood everywhere and the pain was 100. As soon as the gunshots went off, you know, everybody hit the ground. You know, the bus driver, you know, he was very patient. You know, he helped me out a lot as long as, you know, my, my co-workers. But he believes the medical device he was carrying with him prevented more serious injuries. Um, I honestly think that inhaler saved my life because if the bullet went through my arm and came out, I had my inhaler right here in my hoodie pocket. Shattered my inhaler in my pocket. Surveillance video captured from a nearby convenience store shows first responders arriving on scene to take Kane to the hospital. And even though he'll spend Thanksgiving dinner recovering from his injuries and wearing a sling, he's just thankful he'll be sitting at the table with his family, especially his children. At that moment, it was just thinking about my family, you know? My kids, they depend on me, you know? They, they want Christmas gifts, you know? They want their daddy, you know? And that was the only thing that was going through my mind. SEPTA calls this incident horrific and says that they are working with police to identify the shooter. As for Kane, well, he has a message for who's ever responsible for firing that gun. We'll share what he has to say when I see you tonight at 6. For now, live outside police headquarters, I'm Brian Chia, NBC 10 News.